What do economists do? They optimize the costs to maximize the payoffs. And what does a data scientist do? Optimizes the cost functions to maximize the model fit. So you see, there is a lot of connect. The tools that economists and data scientists use are the same. Perhaps economists are the best suited to become data scientists, not engineers. Apart from the overt generalization which I have made that economists optimize the payoffs and minimize the costs. It might not be true always, but that's the general theme of economics because economics is based on resource constraints. We don't have infinite resources and we need to optimize the use of those resources. And the same happens with data scientists. We as data scientists don't have a lot of data or our clients or our problems don't really have infinite resources. So we need to give the resources some kind of a modulation so that they are getting optimized appropriately and there are a hell lot of data science problems in which you have to optimize generally resources and maximize some kind of a payoff. So generally economics uses data science as one of its tools and one of its techniques but data scientists are all technique. So if you're a data scientist without a domain expertise, you are a kind of a technician. But let's say you have a domain expertise. Maybe you are a healthcare data scientist. So you are high in demand. You have a specific skill set. And definitely the word scientist there kind of suits you. So you see an economist and a domain specific data scientist have a lot in common and the tools what are the tools which we use in economics you must know that in economics there's something called econometrics which is essentially a lot of regression and you must know that if you begin any data science course any machine learning course they will start teaching you regression simple multiple and correlations then what happens when your data has some kind of deviation from the assumptions of regression now these are the specific things which are talked in detail in econometrics because econometrics is perhaps the, the most powerful tool of economics i know economics uses statistics maths econometrics and a lot of things which are analytical in nature and so does the data science industry. This actually brings me to the point that economists are well suited to become data scientists. Now you may want to use this to think are software engineers better data scientists or product managers or MBAs are better data scientists. Now you just need to think it through through your lens. I don't want to color your perspective. Software engineers have a really, really, really difficult task at hand and they're pretty good at it. But just because data science has a bit of coding in its ambit, you cannot say that software engineers are better suited to become data scientists. That is my perspective. But yes, software engineers come in a lot of shapes and forms. So maybe that there is a specific kind of a software engineer who really is specializing in the artificial intelligence, machine learning domain. So they are also pretty invaluable data scientists. But you cannot say that all software engineers are meant to be data scientists. There is a subset of software engineering which is kind of connected to data science. But if you think of economics, economics loosely is all about analytical tools and using models to describe the ideas, the philosophies, the theories which ultimately run the trade of goods and services. I believe that if someone has to transition from a different field to data scientist, it has to be an economist. And yes, if you say that, yes, a specific kind of a software engineer can also do that, I believe that if a specific kind of software engineer can do that transition, he is already doing data science in the form of machine learning and artificial intelligence. An economist, a very specialized kind of a software engineer who is doing AI ML, they are essentially two sides of the spectrum. 
and you can say that an economist will be a traditional data scientist and an AI ML software engineer will be a kind of maverick and that person will really bring in cutting edge innovation in data science and we need both of them. So if you still have a question that I am studying economics. Can I become a data analyst? Can I become a data scientist? Yes, you can. But the only and only and only point over here is that if you are beginning your economics education, don't think it through like this will be a stepping stone to a data science career. If you want to study data science these days, there are specialized courses in data science and you pretty much can do that. But yes, as of now, you see that a lot of practitioners in data science, not really trained in data science, they have just become one. But in future, data scientists are going to be trained. So if you really, really believe that that is what you really want to do in your life, you can find courses for that. And I believe that if you want to become an economist, uh, do become an economist, study economics. Because economics also is a pretty interesting field of study and it has a lot of value. Don't just mindlessly say that economics is of no use, their predictions are of no value. The predictions which economists make is just one part of the value pyramid. And one of the things which I really like and admire about the subject is that it has a very high degree of explanatory power, a high degree of interpretation, which the artificial neural networks or the ML models don't have. They are kind of black box models. And yes, that is the reason I believe that economists bring a lot of value to data science. And if you are already an economics student or you have become an economist or you're doing some kind of a cutting edge economics research and you're kind of drifting towards a data science career, best of luck for that. Don't be afraid of switching from economics to data science because they are really close siblings.